is China. They gave Togo. You see, the EU realizes individual little countries, they can survive on the world stage. So they come together as the European Union. Now picture this now. So they cut up this Africa into the tiny little countries, small economies that could never survive on their own, but give them the same sovereignty as the big boys. How do you put China in the same boxing ring with Iswatini? Iswatini has 1.2 million people. China has 1.4 billion people. And you put them on the same stage and say, go at it, negotiate. Are you with me? Yes. This is insanity of the highest order. How have we allowed this carnage to go on? When Iswatini is thrown in the same boxing ring with China and Iswatini is collapses before Iswatini even gets on the stage, the world says, well, Iswatini, what's wrong with you? Why can't you take care of your people? Well, China came in and said, Iswatini, give me all your gold or else. And if Swatini does not agree, they just go on next door to Lesotho and give Lesotho an extra dollar. And if Lesotho doesn't take it, they just jump on to Togo, Central African Republic. It was all by design, 1884. And we sit here and we ask yourselves, why isn't Africa moving forward? Why does Africa continue to be taken advantage of? Well, I'll tell you why, very simply. Until Africa comes together as a continent speaking with one voice, one continent, one people, nothing, and I repeat, nothing is going to change. As individual little African countries, we are wannabe boxers. We will never make it fighting against the heavyweights. We must speak with one voice.